Honda's reputation for quality, technology and innovation means that the arrival of a new Honda model is accompanied by high expectations. Now the new generation Honda Civic 5-door hatchback has some stiff competition in the form of the Volkswagen Golf, the Opel Astra, the Renault Megane and of course the new generation Hyundai i30. The big question is whether it can meet those expectations. Given the level of competition, the new Civic needs to be something special to succeed. Honda's strategy tends to be to create cars exuding a sense of individuality and innovation linked to a well-nurtured reputation for quality and longevity. But it's also true that Honda cars stand out from the automotive crowd, and in a segment where the quest for efficient economies of scale often leads to generic design, such individuality is a welcome respite from the ordinary. admit that the first images of the Honda Civic hatchback which was launched at this year's Geneva Motor Show didn't inspire a lot of confidence but in the metal it's a completely different picture. The car is edgier and more dynamic than I expected although some of the detailing is a little fussy. The latest Civic hatch has carried over enough of the previous model's design essence to be instantly recognizable. However it's a completely new car with aerodynamic efficiency as a central theme. From the front, the key traits include the steeply raked windscreen, the narrow headlight apertures and the deep front spoiler. Dark finishes for the grille, the grille surround and the lower air intake add an element of aggression. In profile, the flowing roofline is further proof of the Civic's aerodynamic intentions, while the blacked out B-pillar creates the illusion of a single expanse of glass. The rear door's latch is concealed in the window frame, adding to the car's coupe-like presence. The rear view is somewhat more controversial. A massive taillight cluster stretches across the entire width of the car and protrudes significantly on either side. It's certainly a distinctive feature, but one that draws mixed comments. The entire taillight assembly acts as a rear wing. Honda has opted to equip the flagship version of its hatchback with a 2.2-litre iDTEC turbo diesel engine and with good reason. It produces 110 kilowatts of maximum power and 350 newton meters of torque. But the most impressive aspect is just how smooth and sophisticated this engine really is. The four-parter can sound a little clunky on startup, but operation soon becomes completely unobtrusive without any of the gruffness usually associated with diesel engines. There's no sign of lag, and the power delivery is linear and progressive all the way to the 4,500 RPM red line. A six-speed manual gearbox is the only transmission offered and features a well-chosen set of ratios that match the engine's characteristics to a T. The gear shift action is almost too light, but still user-friendly and adds to the Civic's dynamic personality. The interior of the new Honda Civic hatchback represents a big step forward. Not that the previous model was particularly bad, but here there's a lot more in terms of tactile quality and innovation. In the front, sculpted bucket seats trimmed in leather provide inviting and supportive seating with ample adjustment scope. The two-tiered instrument layout combines an upper digital display with a lower row of conventional deep-set analog gauges, an arrangement that you'll either love or hate, but that does provide an uncluttered overview of key operating parameters. In this top-end exclusive model, the standard equipment levels are comprehensive, with electric seat adjustment perhaps the only unexpected omission. But you do get everything from remote center locking to park distance control with a rear camera. Rear accommodation is ample for a car in this class, but taller folk may still find headroom at a premium. The boot capacity is impressive at 477 liters, due in part to the space saver spare wheel. The overall execution is both upmarket and sporty. Not that the diesel Civic is supposed to be a performance hatchback, but it's no slouch either. This car has a nice crisp throttle response and the chassis finds just the perfect compromise between torque control and comfort. In fact, if there's one word to describe this car's feel on the road, it's balance. The factory figures claim a 0 to 100 km an hour sprint time of 8.7 seconds and a top speed of 216 km an hour. That's certainly rapid enough for most, but the real magic of this Civic's dynamics is the sense of composure it exudes. There's ample urge and the chassis never feels out of sorts, comfort levels are high and refinement is impressive for a C-segment hatch. Pressing on, the steering feels too light and lacks some feedback, but it's still an entertaining car to pilot. Our test consumption figure of 7.6 litres per 100 kilometres was a lot higher than Honda's combined cycle figure of 4.7 litres per 100 kilometres though. Competence, confidence and quality are at the very core of the new Honda hatchback and in particular of the 2.2 litre iDTEC flagship version. It ticks all the right boxes and as a result scores very high marks on the feel-good factor scale.
Honda's reputation for refined diesels is confirmed here, while linking ample power and torque to fair fuel consumption and low emissions. Add the classic cabin and the full house equipment list and you have a sophisticated, highly appealing hatch despite some fussy elements inside and out.